Hello? Yes, hello, good morning. Mr. McVeigh, please. Yes? Mr. McVeigh, good morning. John Charles speaking from Edgerton Council from the Environmental Estate Department. Yeah. It's a call that we've received from a, a neighbour of yours, a next-door neighbour. Is it convenient to talk just now? Yeah, it's OK. Yes, it's your next-door neighbour, elderly gentleman. Oh, George Minor. Mr. Tanning, that's right. Oh, uh, I know a bit, Mr. Minor. Yes. Now, you've been in touch with this office before. Uh, yes, I've been on the phone the last three or four times in the last couple of weeks. Uh, he's complaining about you. What, what's he saying? Well, he says uh, there's, there's music and, and uh, your daughter screaming in the stairs. Oh, uh, my daughter's only two years of age, for God's sake. She doesn't even get out on her own. Has there been excessive crying? No, has there? No, no, not at all. I, the, we were up last night uh, with a noise meter and it, it, it was fairly noisy, Mr. McGee. We're, we're about. Pardon? Where about was it noisy? Well, we were outside your house with the, the noise meter. Uh, uh, there's a, excuse me, there's another kid in the stair as well. There's, there's a wee boy in the stair that his, his friend was in last night, below me. It was, it's not really my kid. What's that supposed to mean? Well, what is that supposed to mean? My, my kid's only two, She was in her bed at half past seven. Huh? She, was down, she was down the park till seven o'clock. Oh, that's awful late for a two-year-old, isn't it? But, and what business is that yours? Well, the noise was excessive. But what is he coming from my house, mate? You should have come and tap my door then. I mean, this is a poor elderly gentleman. Listen, mate, honestly, he's pulling the room over your eyes as well, right? Ask the council, right? You can put down your record so many times that he's called police out for no reason and everything else. The poor lad's 65. I understand that, but he's an alcoholic and has mental problems. Well, who right? says you're mental? Who, who's, who's got you to phone me? He has. Uh, how did you get my mobile number? That's none of your business. Yes, I want to know how you got my phone number. We got it from the council records office. You got it from the council records office? It's a record of all mobile phones in the Edinburgh area. This is Georgie. Yes, that's right, it is. You little Aye, shit. Aye, you're fucking right. How did you get my phone number? I hate you. How did you get my phone number? You've made my life hell. How did you get my phone number? You little arse. How did you get my phone number? Is the record stuck? Is that all you can say? How did you get my phone number? You're a head. F*** off. <laughs> Hello? Is that you, McVeigh? Who is this? <laughs> Who is that? Uh, you've got a mate called Darren Knowles, haven't you? Aye, who did they tell you for me? Yeah, this is Gallo in the morning at Scott FM. Oh, I was I wasn't on the radio, was I? Yeah. Well, have you got a message for Darren? Oh, I just tell me he's a fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Mum. Cheers. This is Gallo.